In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly install RAM in a PC, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install RAM in a PC. Installing RAM in a PC is very easy to do, the main thing you have to watch out for is the clock speed of the RAM. You want to make sure you pair up RAM cards that have similar clock speeds. We will talk more about this a little later in the video. Before I show you how to install this RAM into your PC, I want to quickly look a little bit closer at a single RAM card. So let me take this RAM, this RAM out of here. So as you can see on the RAM card, the split in the pins right here is not in the middle. And you can see it's off to the side a little bit to the left. And that's because RAM cards can only go in one way. That's because the split also in the slot on your motherboard is not in the middle. So if your RAM card, when you're pushing it in, if it doesn't want to go in, that means you're installing it the wrong way. And do not ever force your RAM card into its slot because you could easily break it or you could damage any of these pins right here. I got two eight gig sticks here, and then I got also, I got two eight gig sticks here. So in total, I'm gonna have 32 gigabytes of RAM in my PC. So when you're installing RAM in your PC, you wanna make sure on your RAM cards, the first thing you wanna do on your slots is push all your pins down. You see all these pins right here? All these pins right here? You wanna push all, these pins down or these clips whatever you want to call them so now when you're installing your ram you always want to make sure you install it according to your motherboard specifications whether you're installing two or four especially when you're installing two because if you're installing two ram cards your motherboard always wants them in specific slots so always go according to your motherboard's manual to figure out which slots to install your ram cards into in my case, I'm gonna be installing four RAM cards, so I'm gonna use all four slots. So when you install your RAM card, you wanna make sure you line up the split right here in the middle of the RAM card, well not in the middle, the off-center split, and you wanna line it up with the split right here in the RAM card slots. And when you line those up, you just wanna go at a straight angle like this, and at a straight angle, you just wanna line it up and slide your RAM card in, if I can do it properly. Slide your RAM card in and it should slide in nice and easily. And then you wanna put one finger on one side, one finger on the other side, and push down until you hear an audible click. I don't know if you guys heard that click there, but you wanna push down until you hear that click on both sides. So let's continue on installing and get all four of these RAM cards properly installed in my PC. Then boom, once you get all your RAM cards installed, then you're done and now your RAM cards are installed properly and you can turn on your PC and you continue on with gaming. Now before you go, I wanna quickly talk about clock speed of the RAM. So this number right here, 3600, is the clock speed of this RAM. So clock speed is always in megahertz and it is the speed at which your RAM card operates and computes at. So when you're pairing up different RAM cards, you always want to make sure they have similar clock speeds because the fastest RAM will always be limited to the slowest RAM in your PC. So if you pair up RAM with different clock speeds, everything will always run at the slowest speed you have inside your PC. Because in my case, this is my old RAM. And as you can see, it's 3200 megahertz. And this is the new RAM I'm going to be installing. It's 3600 megahertz. So altogether, this RAM is going to be limited to this RAM at 3200. But 3236 is close enough. It's only a 400 megahertz difference. So it's close to perfect. It's not perfect, but it's close to perfect. It would be ideally if they were the same number of megahertz, but... 
only being 400 megahertz off is basically close enough to perfect. Now you should know everything you need to know about installing RAM into your PC. Don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps me out and drop a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this video and how much RAM you have in your PC. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.